This is code.org. I'm currently working on CS Principles, their data tools unit. I'm on lesson 12, updating records, puzzle four. What if update record fails? Oh no! In the previous exercises, you added functionality that should print an error message if update record returns without successfully updating the record in the database. But when should update record fail? But when should it fail? Never. <laughs> uh, remember the object parameter needs to have an ID property that matches the ID of the record in the specified table. Woo! Uh, if you're confused, that's a heck of a sentence. So what it's saying is this right here, song to update, is our object parameter, right? It's the song that we want to update. It needs to have a property, it needs to have a dot ID that matches one of the IDs in this table. Because when we send it off to the server telling it we want to update something, the first thing the server says is, okay, songs to update dot ID. What is the ID of the song? And so if this object, right, it has an artist here and we made seconds, if it doesn't have an ID, we have an issue. This one would have an ID, remember, because songs to update is passed using this, where we call the function, last record. And last record is equal to the entire record that we got from the server um, at, well, the record at the end. Uh, so the last index of the server. So it would definitely have an ID because we're using the last record in the uh, database. So, uh, all right. Remember the object parameter needs to have an ID property that matches the ID of the record in a specified database. Yeah, that dot ID thing I was just talking about. So if the object doesn't have an ID property or if the ID property doesn't exist in the table, update record won't be able to successfully update the record. To see this behavior, you're going to add some code that will force update record to fail. Oh, perfect. Your code from the previous exercise has been provided. At the beginning of song of the update song function, set song to update artist to a different string. That's just a different word here. Okay. Add another line of song to update ID to an ID that isn't in the table. Okay, I am going to set this to happy birthday. And the last ID in the table is, what, five? So why not... Why not... We're going to add song to update we're going to update its id property to 13 because that seems appropriate given the situation run the program take note of what gets printed to the council then check the eye of the tired record in the data viewer okay so what will happen it's going to be grumpy error record not shared not saved data eye of the tiger is five so that's good what happened when the record id doesn't match any in the specified table update record can't find the record to update so it sets the success parameter and the callback function to false and finishes without changing any record be careful to always make the object you pass update record has an id that matches a record in the table yep that makes sense, but thankfully we are using our if else statement as a handy dandy fallback uh, to prevent us getting a error message from the server pushed out to the council. So cool. Let's uh keep going.